Ano yung sa property niya na inigo? Wow! <laughs> Pero international na international yung feel. Sa pati yung texture. So, right, right, right. It's directed by... Galing! Um, BD? BD? Mm, BD, direct BD. Hi, BD. Hi, BD. Hi, 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 direct. Congratulations. Good job. But the music video is produced by Academy of Rock. Wow! Congratulations! And then how many days did you shoot the music video? From what I recall, it was about maybe two or three days? Well, oh yeah, that is true. Oh, alright, sorry, my bad. Yeah, it was a full day. One full day. Really late, yeah. Good job. We came together really well and, you know, we were really? like, cool to be here and have this opportunity. Congratulations. All right, um, our first question will come from the Dean of Entertainment Journalists, no other than Mare Ethel Ramos, pretty in pink. Hi, Manay. Ang una kong tanong ngayon si Inigo. Inigo, Inigo, kaya ka ba nagsay adios doon? Tapos kung somebody we all know dahil kaya ka. <laughs> Thank you so much, Manay. Uh, uh, when did we record? It's been a while since we've had this song, and uh, you know, we were just waiting for the right timing. Uh, hindi naman po, hindi naman ako it's not like that. Uh, this song is the song that we were able to, you know, uh, use and make it into a song. So, uh, this song is the song that we were able to, you know, uh, use and we were able to collaborate with, uh, of course, with Academy of Rock and Akasha. Not intended for anything like that. Yeah. Ngayon may tatanaw ko kay Jonathan. Ito na ang apelido is a winner na. Jonathan, sinong nakaisip na mag-jugay silang dalawa? And why and how? How did it happen? And why this song ay Diyos? Kaagada, no? Pamamaala. Opo. Kasi syempre, ang dami na kasing mga love songs na lagi na lang ano eh, lagi na lang Hello, di ba? So, ito naman yung goodbye. Tatalo uso naman yun, hello, love, goodbye. So, <laughs> One billion lang naman. <laughs> so, ayan. Actually, nagsimula po yung collaboration. Siyempre, uh, sa Star Music po, talaga pong um, isa po sa mga initiatives namin uh, the past few months and this year ay mag-expand sa international uh, territory na outside the Philippines collaborations. And then, si Inigo po is at the point, forefront of that initiative. Nakita naman po natin na nag nag-release na tayo ng international singles ng Inigo. At the same time, nag naghahanap po tayo ng mga magagandang collaborations from different countries. And we have good relationships with Academy of Rock. And uh, nagkataon po na meron din silang song na binigay sa amin that uh, tinatanong kung ano yung pwedeng gawin doon. Adios. Kasi Adios is actually a uh, uh, or uh, as a single by Singaporean artist Zaydon, and then it's in uh, it's in Chinese. No? Yeah, it was actually it's, initially in Mandarin. It's, in, in, it's it's written in Mandarin, and then inisip po namin kung paano magiging ma-ilocalize sa Philippines. So nag dinagdagan ko po ng inadapt ko po yung lyrics. I added uh, uh, a new uh, a new part, and then dinagdag po namin si Akasha, which is talent ng talent na nade-develop ng Academy of Rock Singapore and naging perfect match po sila for this project. So, uh, uh, in line po doon sa pag-expand natin ng ating, ano, ng ating music sa labas ng Pilipinas, ito po yung isa sa mga efforts na ginawa natin. So, ayan, nang nangyari na po itong international to Kailan nililis ang mga Ano po? I-release yung kumbaga siya. Ayun, kaka-release lang po. So yung music video po is now on YouTube. Pwede nyo pong stream. And the single has been released on Spotify last Friday. So fresh na fresh po yung track. So ayan, I'm inviting everyone to stream it on Spotify and watch the music video on YouTube. From the one from the Academy of Rock. Can you give us a little background about it? Organization or whatever. Sorry, could you repeat that? Uh, can you give us a little background about your company or organization? Academy of Rock. How it, why, why the name and then how were you able to make it uh, so attractive para ang mga taga-star music? 
Hindi naging question ni Marisa D.W.D. Kaya <laughs> yeah, how do you make goodbye easy? Parang ganun ba? Um, I feel like there's no easy way to do it. You know, I feel like you're supposed to get hurt with goodbye sometimes and that's how we learn from it. That's how we, um, you know, pick up from how we, pick up from our mistakes. Dun 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 Sa tingin ko, minsan, mas okay rin na mas masakit ang goodbye para mas matuto tayo. So, what was your most painful goodbye? Well, <laughs> what was my most painful goodbye? Sa lola ko. Oh. <laughs> Namatay lola ko. Oh. Uh, that was my most painful goodbye. Yeah. How about you, Akasha? How do you make goodbyes less painful? I don't like saying goodbye. Um, I try not to say goodbye. <laughs> I'm like, I see you at hello again. <laughs> you know? So, um... If you want to make it less painful, um, just say I'll see you again and you know, just don't cut off ties completely. Um, I think that's a better way to approach you don't like to get hurt. Um, despite you being hurt, like they're either not friends or you guys don't want to be around each other's life, it's like I'll see you around is a better way of saying it. Yeah. If you want to make it less painful, uh, daanin nyo sa kanta, stream. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so you can get some fun of my like, music video, di ba? So yan. Oh, wow. wow. natapasok ka talaga. So goodbye for now. Wow. 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 Hi, Joe. There are no goodbyes. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> By the way, we'd like to um, acknowledge the presence of uh, Seydon Lee. Yeah. Yes. Seydon, hi. Seydon. The original singer, Adios. Yes, welcome yeah. to the Philippines. Yeah. Okay, um, our next question will come from the equally talented and good looking Alex Brosas of Bandera. <laughs> Go, Alex. Uh, uh, it seems that you are wading into untested water because you're going international now. Uh, tell us about your experience. So far po, sobrang saya ng lahat. Uh, nakakatawa siyempre na ako po yung napili unang uh, pumunta dun sa stage. Pero honestly, it's all been a crazy ride for me. Dahil dahil pinapangarap ko lang lahat ng to. Lahat ng mga nataas, nakatrapaho ko, lahat ng nanibig ko sa abroad. Siyempre, sobrang thankful ako dun. Kahit na nakakatawa at nakakaba, siyempre, you know, being someone that is obviously not someone over there. Kasi dito parang, nung pumasok ko, parang, oh, he's Piolo son. You know, that expectation was there. But over there, obviously, we're starting from scratch from nothing. So, siguro nandun din yung challenge, pero masaya ako nagawin yan dahil uh, ang iniisip ko, hindi lahat nabibigyan ng opportunity. I don't want to waste this opportunity na nabigyan sa akin. And I will do everything. And I want to be able to really uh, say one day na nagawa ko yun. And of course, with the help of Star Music and Avia Sibia, you know, I'm very grateful for the opportunity given to me and the whole team. Actually, madami kami, uh, the whole group of artists na uh, is doing it as well. You're into hip hop in this song, Adios. Medyo, uh, medyo R&B, R&B pop too siya, na may pagka hip hop. So yun, I mean, I also wanna, you know, uh, see different genres, see different sounds, and different artists that I could collaborate with. So sobrang perfect na to. I mean, coming from Wenji na medyo K-pop yung tulog namin doon from Mr. Nice Guy, ito medyo different naman siya from that kind of sound. So I'm, I'm thinking of, you know, ways to really expand my sound. Uh, parang uh, is there a change in image as a singer because of this? Uh, siguro po, mas, in, more than changing it, just growing. Uh, growing and really figuring out what else I can do to be a better artist and a better uh, performer. When you started, parang the problem is you have to get out of the shadow of your popular dad. Is this your way of getting out of the shadow of your popular dad? I feel like it wasn't something that I intended to do. It was something I see it more like uh, a blessing that, uh, you know, I am in love with music. You know, that I don't have to compete with my own father. Na, you know, this is something that I am passionate with. You know, I don't want to ever think about it as a competition against anyone. Rather, this is something that I personally love and want to do. So, uh, you know, it was hard in the beginning, you know, obviously, na gonna be easy to But, you know, with the help of music and my love for music, I'm happy that that's slowly changing. You know, I'm slowly able to really, in a way, make a name for myself. And I guess that's not the main goal of mine. You know, my main goal is honestly just to share my music. Uh, 
You're also into acting, tapos oh. you're into singing. Ano ba yung priority now? Ah, uh, to be honest, music ko. Music talaga yung priority ko. And I've been waiting, honestly, for such a long time to be able to create music. Kaya, after nung dahil sa'yo, I waited three years before I was able to make music. And after that, so, you know, I, was, I was questioning, saan ba ako pupunta after this? What do I do? So, I'm honestly super grateful na nabigyan ako ng pagkakataon na makapag-record sa abroad and collaborate with different artists. Yeah. So, will will the people see you abroad with this new song parang mas doon ka mag-base? Uh, I mean, right now, we've just been touring. We've, you know, I went to Canada. We've been doing a lot of radio tours. Like what I said, we're starting from scratch. So, we're literally building from nothing. So, ang ginagawa po namin, pumunta kami sa mga radio, stu- radio stations sa states, mga festivals. I did a show in House of Blues in Anaheim. So, you know, para lang maka, uh, you know, to get your, your name out there, to somehow make yourself relevant to the to the audience sa states. Kasi syempre, you know, as much as we want to target Filipinos abroad, we also want to target different nationalities and to share our music, OPM. Oh, I think uh, you can do that kasi maganda yung appeal ng summer. Thank, Thank you. you. Salamat. And good reception, Alex. Ah, ang natanggap ni Nico um, sa abroad. Talaga ano? Um, na penetrate na natin ang international scene, di ba? Okay, our next question will come from Bob Glorioso of the Philippine Star. Hey, good afternoon. For Inigo, um, Inigo, this is not the first time you collaborated with uh, international artists. Ako. Um, for you, what are your discoveries or what have you learned from this uh, collaboration? From the first time you uh, done this? Siguro not limiting yourself to a certain sound. Siguro expanding and really growing as an artist and allowing yourself to uh, do different things, not to your own comfort zone. Para sa akin, uh, naging uh, challenging siyempre yung unang kong collaboration with Gwenji, which was Mr. Nice Guy, dahil hindi ko naman sound yun. I, mean, I wasn't comfortable rapping. But I challenged myself and I really wanted to do it, even with this one. Uh, actually, dito ako nahirapan sa dancing. Iba siya sa dancing ng dahil sila. <laughs> diba, ganun, ganun lang yung steps. So, ito, medyo talagang uh, tinagtira na tawa ko po yung pagsayaw. And yeah, I think that's the, that's the part of um, you know this whole collaboration that I love. You know, the process of learning, the process of really growing as an artist and learning from the other artists that you're able to work with. Are there international artists that uh, you're dreaming to collaborate with? Yes, there's a lot. Bruno Mars, on the top of the list. Chris Brown. Uh, there's a lot. Ah, sino ba? Ah, a lot of the new ones. Billie Eilish. I really want to collaborate with Billie Eilish in the future. But course, not that dream of mine. So, uh, it's out there. Kali, uh, there's an Australian singer, Rule, that I really like. And I want to collaborate with many more Asian acts, course, to really, uh, I guess, promote penetrate, you know, different, different uh, countries and different uh, parts of the world. Sir Jonathan, would that be possible? Actually, yes. May mga nakaline up pa na collaboration si Inigo, American artists, and then other other international artists na kilalabas kami soon, pero confidential pa, pero uh, marami pa yan, marami pang nakaline up for Inigo. Um, can you share with us kung, aside from Inigo, meron ka pang ibang Artists yeah, from uh, yung initiative ng ABS-CBN, we've identified uh, six artists to launch uh, to the, the global stage. And nagsis- nagsimula nga kay Inigo, pero kasama dyan sa list sila Casey Tantinian, si Kiana Valenciano, si Jonah, uh, uh, Jada, uh, Morissette, Moira. Ayan. Uh, so marami po kayong aabang at talaga. For Akasha, uh, hello. hello. I've read uh, that you are excited to go here or to come here in the Philippines. Oh, yeah. And uh, this is your first time, right? Uh, uh, how, so this is my second time. Okay. Yeah. So how do you find the Philippines now? Uh, you are excited on this. I love Philippines. I love the food here. I love the culture. I love the music. Everyone is super talented here. <laughs> um, I love. Uh, it's so big here compared to Singapore because in Singapore you get around easy like through the transport but it's it's quite big here so you take more travel time it's more places to explore but since I'm on a tight schedule I haven't been able to explore Philippines as much as I want to and I hope to come back again <laughs> and explore yeah 
And in terms of doing this music video, uh, what challenges did you see while doing? Uh, doing this music video, I think dancing uh, was a challenge for me, picking up the steps. And I, I had a day to actually um, learn it, and I couldn't pick it up as well as um, I had to. And Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, boy. Uh, may follow-up question lang si Manay. Can you go my own kung dance instructor? Meron po, meron po. Uh, I train with Baton AC. So, so sila po yun. How about you, bro? Ngayon po, sa ngayon, hindi po ano eh. Pero as soon as we're done promoting, syempre, the movie, I, I plan to really go back to training. And uh, I will plan also to work with different choreographers just to see and really expand my creativity also as a dancer. Thank you, Manai. Our next question will come from Chad Rosette Pascual and of Manila Fee. Go, Chad. Hi, good afternoon. My question is for Akasha. Um, can you tell us more about what is this Academy of Rock all about? And um, before saying yes and doing collaboration with Inigo, uh, Anything uh, did you check for his music or what made you say yes to this project? Okay. Um, so I haven't been with the Academy of Rock for uh, a long period of time, but we do take in students. Um, we have lessons there to train um, possible artists, you know, people who have dreams. Like for myself, um, I was working a full time job before I did anything with my music. Where I wanted to, to go into it, so I got out of my full-time job, and then I was working with a friend um, on a song, and I met um, Mommy P, Priscilla, through um, a friend, and she heard something that I did with my friend, and she um, wanted to meet me, so she, she met me, and she was like, um, I see something in you, and I want to give you an opportunity. Um, and I would like to um, give you lessons and train you and um, help you achieve your dreams. And at that point in time, um, I was struggling because I couldn't afford uh, lessons as much as I wanted to take them out. So uh, I'm super grateful and blessed that um, such an opportunity and a, like a blessing just like, kind of came out of nowhere and it's fast track and now I'm here, you know? And, um, I can ask what was the other question? And um, what made you say yes to do a collaboration with him? Uh, because, um, so my manager Angie and um, Academy of Rock been working with uh, Inigo. So uh, they told me a little background on Inigo and we listened to his song. And he has a really beautiful voice. Uh, a good fit. I guess I thought that we could like have a vibey song. Is, yeah. Yeah. And um, how do you find Filipino music? Uh, I, well, I haven't ventured much into uh, Filipino music, but the first song I heard uh, that was uh, from Daniel Padilla. <laughs> um, I think he did a cover of, uh, if I remember, Kinak something, Kinak. Uh, yes. <laughs> Yeah, and um, I was like younger then. I was like, oh my god, this guy can sing. And um, so that was the first song I heard, and I watched uh, Who Has Got Talent. So I was like, everybody in Philippines are so talented, and like everybody can sing, you know? So yeah, I would, I would like to explore more. Yeah. Can you do a sample of a uh, Filipino song? <laughs> Ooh. Um. Like the lyrics I know. Yeah, um, uh, Let me see. Okay. Uh, I came my hell and then I think Billy did that. Pero. Pero. Wait. I came my hell and then I think Billy did that. 
And um, can we still see Indigo doing collaboration also with Filipino or local or our local artists? Yeah, actually, ang naging consideration talaga namin ng Pilipini namin yung mga artists to, to cross over to the international stage. Of course, tiningnan namin yung impor important yung yung numbers. Eh. And then two years two years ago, no yung dahil sa yon. Two years ago nung nilis namin yung dahil sa yon. It's it's clearly the song of the year. Uh, several hundred million streams, combined streams and views on Spotify and YouTube and talagang established niya yung career ni Inigo, not just as a singer but also as a songwriter and then, uh, so syempre dahil ngayon, maliit na lang naman talaga yung mundo, there's no way to go but there's no way to go but uh, to go outside the Philippines so sabi namin, ano ba yung next step pa for Inigo, is very young and then, sina uh, doon na namin sinimulan si Inigo doon sa international project, and then since si Inigo ay eh, lumaki naman talaga sa LA, so perfect na, hindi na siya mag-a-adjust. Nandun siya, na nagpunta siya doon, hindi na kami nahirapan sa kanya pag iniikot namin siya sa mga shows doon, doing promotions. Uh, sobra siyang nakabrent agad. At the same time, alam niya rin yung sensibilities ng Filipino audience. So, yung, yung combination na yun na meron siyang exposure sa, sa, sa states at the same time, exposed din siya sa, sa kultura natin dito sa Pilipinas. Ang gandang combination nun na ma-harness yung audience from, from, different, uh, from different countries. So, si Inigo talaga yun nakita namin na, na pinakamagandang experiment. Experiment naman talaga eh, kasi hindi natin alam kung kung may mayayari. So, yung nangyayari, ginagawa namin yun kay Inigo would be the blueprint para dun sa iba pang artist na ilo-launch namin after him. So, Nagi sobrang saya kami dahil maganda yung nagiging result so far. So ayun, I hope na support nyo pa yung mga susunod na release namin. And yung current single na Inigo na Catching Feelings, it's also a song that he's written. And it's got uh, almost a million streams on Spotify. And it's doing so well, not just sa Filipino audience, but sa audience abroad. So sobrang kami excited sa mga susunod pang mga yan. Thank you. Thank you so much, Shad. Our next question. I am Manayad. So, Natan, what do you think made ano, yung single na yung first single? Bakit? Bakit nag-create? Uh, yun nga, laging tinatanong, di ba? Kasi, pero, wala kasing formula for creating hits, eh. Ako, ang lagi ko lang sinasabi, uh, pag nag-hit yung kanta, uh, it should come from a true place. So, Si Inigo, sinulat niya lang yun na wala, wala kaming pressure. Sa so, totoo lang yung mga songs na nag-hit, yun yung mga songs na sinusulat niyo kapag walang pressure. So, ginawa namin yung song na dahil sa'yo ni Inigo, na siya lang, expression niya, very young, napakabata, and hindi pa siya sure actually. Sabi ni Inigo, I'm not really sure about this song. Pero sabi ko sa kanya, no, this is gonna be the first single. And then, ang feel good niya lang kasi, nung time na yun, dumating siguro nung time na yun na, Puro hugot, puro hugot yung kanta. Lagi niyo yung tanong yan sa akin, ano man ay Ethel, na bakit ang mga kanta natin puro hugot, puro na lang malungkot. So, in the sea of hugot songs, uh, lumabas itong kanta ni Inigo na dahil sa'yo sobrang feel good coming from this young artist na authentic lang yung expression niya. And it became that huge hit nung panahon na yun. And hindi natin madetenay, lahat ng Zumba yun ang kinakanta. Mga bata yun ang kinakanta. Nung nakaraang elections, ang dami mga illegal usage na campaign jingles yun ang kinakanta. So, it was really a huge success for Inigo. And clearly, nag-set ng, ng, ano, ng, ng different branding, different imaging for Inigo against his very famous dad. So, sobra talagang blessing yung, yung dahil sa'yo para magkaroon ng positioning si Inigo na napaka-importante sa, sa music industry niya. Ikaw, Jonathan, in your case, uh, what made you decide na maging parang sa background lang ng isang singer? Hindi mo ba naisip na maging singer? 
Ano po? Why? 40 years old na po ako. Okay na po. <laughs> uh, masaya po ako na nagsusupport ng mga artist. And lalo na kapag ang dami kong, lalo na sa ABS-CBN, lagi tayong may mga artist na inaalagaan na sobrang talented. Uh, ang dami-dami. So, uh, joy ko po talaga na ma mailabas and ma yun, ma-showcase kung ano yung meron sa mga talents na yun. And masaya po ako na supporting just in the background. Thank you po. Thank you, thank you. May my best touch si Sir Jonathan. Yeah. Our next question will come from uh, Florencio Jose Jr., popularly known as FPJ of Manual to Life. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, first, I don't know, uh, actually, I did uh, sort of uh, okay, ego. Because you have your uh, single catching feelings, okay. which is still out. And, di ba masyadong early pa for a new single, or this is still the perfect time to launch the, the new single, Adios? Actually, uh, yung catching feelings is actually a uh, regular single siya ni Inigo, na solo artist. And then at the same time, uh, para lumawak yung audience, naggagawa kami ng mga collaborations kasi uh, syempre merong audience na matatap from Singapore, merong audience na matatap from Australia, like si Wenji, yung ginawa ni Inigo na, na collaboration ni Wenji, not really his main single, pero dahil si Wenji may audience sa Australia, edi i-check out nila kung ano pa yung ibang songs ni Inigo. So yung collaborations, ginagawa namin strategy to expand the audience and to reach non-Filipino audience so that it should check din nila kung ano yung meron si Inigo as a solo artist. So, yung international collaborations ay strategy to expand the audience while Inigo is releasing his own solo singles. So, ganun po yung strategy. Uh, for Akasha, uh, just like to ask, uh, for in the single, you are rapping and it has a Cardi B uh, Nicki Minaj vibe. Oh so God. is that what you're pegging, or are you also? <laughs> That's a huge compliment <laughs> for me. Thank you. Um, I'm actually leaning more to um, Lani or Danny Lay. Um, but that's a compliment. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, or Doja Cat. Um, more rap singing. Yeah, but I was yeah. <laughs> Aside from rapping, do you also sing ballads or um, um, other genres? Besides rapping, I'm still I'm leaning into R and B, um, but I'm still training a lot. Um, Academy of Robin sending me a lot of training and vocal lessons to polish up my vocals. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh well, for the Academy of Rock, just like to ask. Um, how intense is the training for Akasha? What uh, did you start? her uh, very early or is it just just a few years back well it depends on um the students for akasha because she's relatively new in a sense she's been with us like only early this year but precisely because of that um hers is actually pretty intense we have vocal training we do i remember it was a period of time we send her for some very light like dance training as well we also expand their knowledge on being an artist in the industry, how do you carry yourself at events and things like that. So it can be pretty intense and you know, we continue to do that even while they're doing promotions and stuff because we believe in maintaining and always learning and improving themselves. Okay, and coincidentally, um, this year is actually the 20th year of diplomatic relations between Singapore and the Philippines. Yeah. So it's actually a nice collaboration. Yeah. And, uh, uh, yeah, going on, uh, my next question again would be for Sir Jonathan. Is it you, uh, there's also another record label which is by Sheer Records. Yeah. Uh, ano po yung pagkakaiba niya with Star Music? Kasi it's, uh, Inigo has uh, a single under Star Sheer and now this is Star Music. Actually, uh, ano na siya ngayon eh? It's ABS-CBN Music. So ABS-CBN Music, under ABS-CBN Music, may mga different labels tayo based on genre. So, Nandiyan yung Star Music, which is the, the label for uh, the, yung mga ano na natin, yung mga tenfold Star Music talents. Nandiyan si Nengeng, nandiyan si Sir Gary, nandiyan si Eric Santos, and then Star Pop for the, for the young talents. Nandiyan si Mai Mai, si Justin Vasquez, and so Star Pop. And then Tertiary, Tertiary is an electronic label na naka-focus naka sa international releases. 
So, nandun yung Tarsier Music. And then, meron din tayong label na bagong ilo-launch yung DNA Music. DNA Music is for fans. And then, uh, ayun, it's all under one big umbrella of ABS-CBN Music. So, so considered kung ba ito under Tarsier? Uh, ang collaborations is considered uh, under the umbrella of ABS-CBN Music and then released through Star Music. And last question na lang, um, is there any other markets that you want to tap? Because aside from Southeast Asia, malay nyo may potential din siya in other markets na si Europe or... <laughs> mm, promote din namin. Since si Inigo may exposure, meron kami ginagawang uh, exposure promotional activities sa, sa Europe and the US, dadalhin din natin itong mga music na to doon sa territories. Um, thank you. Thank you, FPJ. We are down to our last two questions. We have a question from Lance of Mix and Push.com. Um, hi, Ego. Hi, Akasha. Um, Ego, um, we all know that na, um, the Asian music name is getting recognized. Like, that in K-pop. Uh, and I don't know if you guys are familiar with ATA Rising. It's like, yeah, and oh, it's Asian, is yeah. it, it's composed, it's a group of artists. Yes, it's Ryan from Indonesia, yes. Joji is half Japanese, my Korean, oh, my Chinese. Yeah. So, um, what do you think is the current situation? What can you say about the current situation of um, Asian music when it comes to representing um, it to the global stage? And what do you guys think about the future of Asian music? I think it's perfect timing for us to share our music globally. Um, you know, with the rise of K-pop, you know, reggaeton music. I always say Latin music has always been around. I feel like now with the help of technology and the help of just people connecting through music, it's perfect timing for us to share our music. And you know, being Filipino, I'm honestly super proud of our music, OPM. And it makes me question sometimes, why is it just now that we're putting OPM out there to the global scene? Um, and I think Asian music in the global scene, I feel like we definitely bring a different flavor. You know, we got all different types of nationalities, all different types of cultures. And we're able to share that through our music. And you know, the best part about it is music is a universal language. You know, so may mer mga Pilipino na nakikinig ng K-pop, na Korean, pero gusto nilang matuto mag Korean dahil sa music. And there's other people that want to learn, you know, there's foreigners that literally want to learn Filipino because they like a Tagalog song. So I think that's the beautiful thing about Asian music is we have different cultures, different languages that people could, you know, learn from and people could possibly fall in love with. And I think yun yung madadala natin in the global stage. How about you, Asha? She took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> so yes, I agree with you, Hugo. Um, it's definitely the time for us to you know, be out there. And I feel like they're more interested in um, Asian music now. Because, uh, like you said, we bring a different, yeah, so diverse. And we bring a different flavor. 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 <laughs> It. Um, it's unique, you know, and something that they haven't heard of before. I'm um, yeah. Um, Inigo, since na exposed ka nga doon, nag-tour ka sa yeah. iba ibang radio stations sa US, and I, I think nag-BBC ka din. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, easy. Yeah. So, tingin mo, ano yung pinakamalaking challenge right now, especially for you na Filipino artist? Well, the challenges will always be there. Palagi naman meron obstacle. Pero, uh, Challenge, but what are the challenges we have to face? I think one is obviously um, language barrier. You know, sometimes we might alienate our, our audience. But you know, throughout all the shows that I've done, I've come to realize that sometimes, you know, you, you definitely have to, to sing in English. Some songs have to be in English, but injecting some songs like that are in Tagalog, they will appreciate that. I want to go to Tagalog. There was one, there's times when I was in uh, I was House of Blues in Anaheim. It was a you know not Filipino audience, but obviously there were a lot of Filipinos. Um, when I started seeing guys, you know, the crowd, you know, like, went crazy for it. And even when I went to Hawaii, all the Samoans, all the uh, Hawaiians, they were like, this, "This is actually really good. Like, this sounds like our music." You know, to hear that from other nationalities, you know, na Because initially, being a Filipino going into it inter inter internationally, you see, mo, magugusong ba na ibang lahi yung la yung lenguaje ko yung yung kanta na kinakanta ko. So I guess that's one challenge we have to face, but you will never know unless you try. So that's that's what I want. That's what I plan to do. I learned also from Andy Casey when we went to BBC. Instead of singing an English cover, she decided to sing like Isa na naman, and they appreciated it. They 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 saw that you know the, the songs. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's in English. It, it matters how you perform it and how you tell the story through the song. 
And siguro yun yung isang challenge na masasabi kong kailangan natin uh, i-tackle. But you know, more than tackling a challenge, I guess you just have to do it to know the outcome. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lance. Our last question will come from Ray Pumaloy. But before Ray, we have a question from Mark Marcos of Vaughn Music. Go, Mark. Yeah, no, um, for me, um, you've been dubbed as the crossover kid. Well, so, um, is there pressure to perform, I mean, for your, all of your songs? I don't feel any pressure. <laughs> Uh, pressure sa mga kanta ko? Yeah, it, uh, pressure to perform, like your song to perform with. Oh yeah, well, alam mo, syempre na nandun yung tawag. Habang nag-release ka ng kanta every time, lalo na kung magkakatikit, syempre, you don't know which song will do well. And as an artist, siguro ang, ang nakuha ko dito sa pag-collaborate sa different artists is I wanna be able to be that artist that will, um, you know, give songs to those people na, wait, ito kunyari, ito nagkumusta ng isang tao. But that song might not like one of my songs, but at least this other person likes that song. So I want to be able to create music that different people would like. Um, so para sa akin, it doesn't matter if, if this song doesn't do well or another song doesn't do well and another song does well. For me, just to be able to share my music is a big blessing. And uh, the fact that we're able to work, the fact that we're able to collaborate with different artists and different uh, nationalities, honestly, that's the best part you know, about it. And more than anything, more than thinking of negative things and how, uh, how the outcome may be, I think you just have to enjoy it. You, you have to enjoy the process and really enjoy the music and para sa akin, magtrabaho pa ng mas maigi para mas ma gusto pa ng tao yung music na nilalabas mo Shepard, promoting your music yeah miss you doing okay <laughs> miss my music thank you Mark and now for our killer question killer. in English, right? <laughs> okay, Ray Pumala of Abante I have an interpreter <laughs> um, my question is for, uh... Hold up. Okay, Sir Jo. Uh, no, parang sir. ang dami-dami pera ng star music, ano? Kasi, you know, doing collaboration and... Oh, di ba? <laughs> Negotiating with uh, international producers and actors, di ba? Magkasas talaga. Magkasas talaga. Mm -hmm. Gaano ka mahal itong collaboration project uh, with Akasha, with uh, Ashton uh, Rock? Uh, we're, we're talking about uh, several millions. Uh, kasi, ano eh, dollars, lalo na yung, ano, yung mga American releases, kasi uh -huh. we're talking about dollars there. Kalagin na natin, ang, ang, ang laki ng difference sa production pa lang, uh, hindi ko lang sasabihin yung amount na kung magkano, pero... Pwede naman, sige na. Uh, <laughs> Paano lang meron pang headline? <laughs> So, kung if, if we are spending like 35,000, ito, di ba, 35,000 ang yes. spend natin sa production budget ng isang song dito sa Pilipinas. Sa, sa US, for one song, mura may 1 million. Ganun yung, ganun yung difference ng budget. So, talagang investment talaga siya. Pero, maganda siyang investment kasi ang laki ng audience na tinitap mo. Kasi naman, dito sa Philippines, Although marami marami yung ano population natin pero yung industry in itself uh -huh. ma maliit yung kita kumpara sa sa American music industry. So kapag kapag nag-invest tayo with the right talent, with the right content, sobrang mabilis lang yung mabalik. Pero kailangan mag-hit. So uh -huh. kailangan suportahan talaga natin uh -huh. uh, yung yung talents natin. Pero yun nga, yun yung kaya na ginagawa natin dito sa ABS-CBN Music. It's, it, hindi siya hindi siya birong investment malaki talagang investment para mag maggamble sa sa international music scene pero it's going to be worth it lalo na kapag kapag nakita na natin yung yung fruits of our labor so excited kami kasi nakikita naman namin na na nagkakaroon ng magandang traction yung mga music na nilalabas natin and it's going to be bigger bigger and bigger so ayan particularly with this uh, collaboration no uh, was it paid in Singapore dollars? For this particular collaboration, this is a partnership between Academy of Rock. It's it co broad. Yeah, it's it's co broad, but we are very very uh, thankful that so generous ng partner namin, mm -hmm. and they really invested in this project. Uh, even the music video Academy of Rock uh, assisted us the funding and the production and the 
they've been very helpful sa project na to. And yeah, thank you, Angela. Aliwara. Hi, Priscilla. If, if Priscilla is watching, we love you. Uh, so, it's at the end that the School of Rock is also a record label. A label, ah, Academy of Rock. Academy of Rock is if it's primarily a, a school with talents. A talents. talents. And they also produce music. Oh, lahat to, ano, no, um, ginawa sa Singapore, pati music video. Yeah, ah, uh, ah, uh, Singapore and Manila. Mm -hmm. Kasi yung track, technically, is still, uh, produced by me, but uh, it's in collaboration with with artists from Singapore, like Zaydon, and then the funding is from Singapore. Who spoke with uh, the I know the original singer about the? Uh, uh, it's it's through Academy of Rock. Ah. Actually, Pris Priscilla, uh, yeah, Angela, you can tell the story. So basically, um, we talked to Zayden about the song, you know, because it was initially released in Mandarin by him. Uh -huh. And, you know, we were, we were just discussing with him, we were thinking that the song actually has quite an international flavor. We think that this can be something that's even bigger. And, you know, I know Zayden agrees with it as well. All the time, it was still very, like, whoa for him. Um, I know we were thinking really carefully, and we thought, you know, it really already big, but even more rising star who wants to go into the international scene is Inigo himself. And we thought, wow, he is the perfect fit. And so it kind of just all came together like that. James, I'm sorry, John. You're the one who's asking. Because it's a good thing, because it's a good thing. Si Casey, yung made up niya with uh, si American uh, Idol Jack. Randy Jackson. Yes. Oh, si Randy Jackson. Mm -hmm. Mahal din yun. Yeah. Ay, ay, yes. Curious lang, paano kayo nakikipag-negotiate sa kanila? Meron ba kayong middleman or something? Meron ba kayong agency handling your... Kasi uh, dahil with... sinisimula na natin talaga na expose yung talents natin sa global stage, magugulat ka na lang na sila na yung lumalapit. Ah, Kasi si KZ, dahil yung mga efforts din natin to, to expose her sa international stage, pinahanap si KZ ni Randy Jackson. I want to work with that girl. Saan daw niya napanood? Uh, napanood niya yung video ni KZ performing sa I Am Singer. Yung uh, nakalaban niya... Uh, uh, nakalaban niya dun si Jessie J. Oh. Yeah, if, if she if she beats Jesse J, then I should work with that girl. Yeah, so we're so excited. And then we had to see she see KZ, and then the set up the meeting. Ah, uh -huh. and then yun, they're gonna work on something together. Hindi pa sa kisuma la. This is gonna be when ba ba balik kami for that. Ah, okay. Thank you. Congratulations. Very nyo ha. In fair, you can succeed, you know? Inigo, parang kasi medyo mataas na yung music mo, ano? Paano na yung mga masa? Masa fans mo? Personally, I decided, sabi ko sa kanyang gusto doon, na kahit nang gumagawa ako siyempre ng mga music internationally, sabi ko ayaw ko rin kumawala yung mga sinusulat ko na Tagalog. Dahil kahit paano marami pa rin po ako nasusulat yung Tagalog, and gusto ko pa rin po ma-share yun sa Filipino audience. And, you know, there's times, literal, tin-text ko si Tita Jonathan, tumatago ako at 3 a.m ng ano, uh, middle of the night, mga gusto ng Tito Jonathan, kailangan natin na-record itong kantang ko. It's in, it's, and it's in Tagalog. So I saw some songs, actually, meron kami ginawang music video na was supposed to be part ng second album ko before this whole international uh, plan started. So ako, personally, I still want to work on my my Filipino music. You know, I I do I, I do understand and believe that you know Filipino Philippines will still be my biggest market no matter what we do, and and I still want to be able to share my music and my language to of course our people. Okay, thank you. Now, Bix, my interpreter. Akasha, <laughs> <laughs> uh, now that you're here in Manila, have you ever met any other actors or artists of ABS-CBN? No, I've met Michael. Um, yeah. uh, Bailey, uh, Moira, uh, um, Ken, uh, Ken, uh, yeah. that's so far the artist I've met, yeah. How did you find them? Did you find them? <laughs> 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 what can you say? Oh, my interpreter. So what can you say about them? Uh -huh. Nice. Uh, they're beautiful people, super funny. Super talented. Um, I wish I had more time to spend with them and get to know them a little bit more better. But um, I'll do that soon <laughs> when I have the chance. Yeah. Give it a chance um, when you're going back 
for the third time here in the Philippines, which place you wanna go mm -hmm. most? I wanna, see, I wanna go to Boracay. Ah. Or that area looks pretty there. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I love the, the beach and the islands. Uh, I live there. So being in the city and from Singapore, I feel like I would love to do that, to be able to have that experience here. Yeah. And travel around the Philippines as well. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I, what you <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Alright, thank you so much, Trey. And once again, our hashtag for today is Inigo X Akasha Adios Media Launch. Okay, Sir John, your message. Ah, Inigo? Okay, Sir John, your message. To Again, our uh, uh, please don't forget to please support. Uh, Adios, it's now available for streaming on Spotify, for download on iTunes and all uh, digital platforms. Uh, stream the new music video. Music video is already on YouTube, so you may check it out. It's a beautiful video directed by B. And uh, of course, uh, salamat, thank you, thank you so much to Academy of Rock. Of course, Star Music, this is a co-production between Academy of Rock and Star Music. And uh, this is just one of the many partnerships that we will be doing in the future. And yeah, I'd like to thank uh, Academy of Rock, especially Miss Priscilla. If you're watching, thank you so much. And then, welcome to the Philippines, Angie and Akasha. And Inigo, congratulations uh, for all the success. Thank you. Angela, your message? Well, on behalf of Academy of Rock and even Akasha, on behalf of Bobby P, um, we would like to thank uh, Jonathan, definitely, like to thank Star Music, uh, even Cornerstone, we would also like to thank Neil himself, and most of all, we want to thank everyone here in the Philippines for supporting um, this know. collaboration between Eva and Akasha, especially for Akasha because, you know, she's still new and, you know, we're just very grateful that you guys are open to us coming here and you know, just really interacting uh, with each other, you know, all two different cultures coming together. Happy 50 years of diplomatic relations. Yeah. Um, and it's been for and all of you here works together between Academy of Rock and Thank you so much, Angela, and of course, Akasha. I would like to thank um, everyone here for giving me an hour's free time. <laughs> um, and thank you for having me here as well. And thank you, Sir Jonathan, for giving me an opportunity. <laughs> um, for having me, and um, adios. It means a lot to me. And thank you, Sir Ross, and Sir Erickson as well for believing in me. And thank you, <laughs> Academy of Rock and Era Global and their collaboration with our Star Music Meet This Possible. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. you. Yay, you have a thank great you. chemistry with Inigo. And of course, the pride of the Philippines, Inigo! And of course, I want to thank Star Music and of course Academy of Rock, Mommy P, for always uh, supporting our music, of course, and uh, the music video, super, super grateful, our director, of course, Biggie, and everybody else who was in the team. Uh, I'm super grateful that it's finally out. And sana po support po natin ang adios. Streaming now on Spotify, Apple Music, and all major digital digital music platforms, and also on YouTube, ang aming music video. And abangan niyo po, meron po kami project na ginawa pa, so abangan niyo po yan. And once again, marami marami sila po sa inyong lahat. And to Jonathan, of course, thank you so much. The superstar right here. <laughs> Congratulations, guys! Mga kaibigan! Supportan po natin ang adios nila Inigo and Akasha. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Maraming maraming salamat mga kapamilya until our next press con.